I, I don't really like to talk in my videos, um, but uh, here we go again. Um, I, I want to explain and show how this light works on this uh, sun. You see the bands around it. Um, you got a redder band. Uh, it's getting closer and closer to the water. Um, you're going to start seeing a reflection of the water the farther back it gets. Now the sun is big, so you know, it's hard to do an experiment showing the same thing. Um, and then when it goes to um, doing its little change here, I'm going to um, put it in slow motion right toward the end and try to explain that. But I did do a little experiment that I'm going to be putting on right after this along with this video. Um, and hopefully uh, it, it can show or you know explain some things. Um, I'll let you watch it yourself and see what actually is going on and then watch my little experiment and then you can check that out too. Um, that'll be right after um, the sunset. You want to call it a sunset? I call it a sun um, illusion um, because it is an illusion. Uh, it's an illusion that the sun is setting below the curve uh, but uh, I hopefully can can show that it, it, it isn't setting. It's just getting farther and farther away. So we'll see what happens here. Again, watch. Um, I'm going to be quiet for a little bit here. Let you just watch it. The reflection in the water is meeting with the sun. And they're uniting, blending in together. As you'll see, uh, this object, this sun, is going to get smaller and smaller. Slowly but surely, and that, that uh, is just getting farther and farther away, not going be below the curve of uh, the global Earth. <clears throat> now I'm going to, uh, like I said, I'm going to pause it, and I'm going to put it in slow motion here in a little bit. Um, so let's see what happens, and, and I'll see if I can explain it, um, and see if it makes sense to you. Uh, all comments are welcome, um, but just keep it clean. No uh, nasty name calling and whatnot. All right, here we go. Um, the disc is getting smaller. Um, look at it um, at the edges it looks like a football that's where I think the true water line is um, and that's why we're getting this effect and uh, it's just getting farther and farther away reflecting off the water that you can't see because that that water that you can't see is just uh, being hidden by um, all the humidity the water molecules in the air um, uh, I'm, like I said, I'm not no expert at this, but I can assume how much water, I know what humidity is. Um, and then all of a sudden you start getting this, it lifts up off this water, right? It lifts up off the water and it's getting smaller and it's getting smaller. Look, there's nothing underneath it. It's up off the water line. So the sun has not fallen below this water line. It's still there. Um, you want to say that this is an illusion, then the whole sunset is an illusion. So, um, when you watch my experiment after this, um, it, it may explain some things um, on what we're seeing with light. Light is a pretty cool thing. Um, so, again, uh, check it out. Right there. Boom. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. That's all, folks. All right, we're back up to normal speed. And I'm going to back out, zoom back out a little bit here. 
and you can kind of see where the sun was, but now it's being hidden. Uh, with all the water molecules, the humidity, the atmosphere, whatever you want to call it. Uh, but there it is. So what do we got? Uh, we got some very interesting um, sun uh, just getting farther and farther and farther away. Uh, very interesting. So I'm going to do my own little test on uh, light and water, how they react. So, I got a bucket uh, with water in it, and I've got a light bulb hanging over it. Um, the sun would be getting farther away and going toward that curve, uh, or down below the curve. So, let's see if I can duplicate some of this in this video. I'm going to zoom in, and... As you see, the light gets dimmer, okay? I, I zoom out, it gets kind of brighter or bigger. And as I zoom in, we're going to see how it actually gets smaller because I'm going to actually see the light instead of the light bands. And as I get up closer, you can see the, how it's going to start duplicating kind of like what the sun does I can't show this complete because I don't have a big enough body of water to do this but maybe I'll do another experiment where I do um, I created wind with a fan on my uh, little pile of water so we're gonna see as I zoom in let me zoom in some more okay you get this effect and that's similar to the same effect that I'm getting out on the uh, water with the sunset. Uh, if I zoom in even more and more, see how they start blending? The light above and the light below. Let me go up a little bit. Whoop, go the other way. Okay. See how they are? And the farther back that water gets, okay, I'm going to take my camera now and move it back farther from this point and see what it looks like from even a farther distance. But you can see the similarities between my sunset videos and um, uh, this little experiment I'm doing. Um, I don't want to take too long because I want to add this to the video that I'm making right now of the um, sunset. Okay, so I pause it. It help if I raise it instead of looking at the floor. So they say a superior mirage, okay, is, is uh, kind of similar to this too, where you're seeing the reflection of the sun. Um, is that the reflection of the sun? Which, which one's the real item? Um, well, I know which one it is, and so do you. Um, but this is uh, from a little farther away. I have a little more of a distance I can right, go. Sorry about that. Uh, my battery was exhausted. Always check your battery before... <laughs> You start an experiment, I guess. Good lesson to learn. Now, I'm going to zoom in on this. Uh, like I said, I'm a little farther away. And I wish my water tray was a little bit better. Uh, longer. Um, big old long water trough might do. But we're still going to zoom in on this. Um, you know, the sun is big and I want to see if I get some of the similar effects okay there it is 
And you can imagine that the, the, the sun, as it gets farther away, okay, we get that same effect of the reflection. Now imagine this light moving a little farther away, farther away, and the reflection is getting more and more on an angle. Um, the farther away you, you go, the, the angle changes um, from where you're standing at watching the sunset. So if I zoom in all the way to this light, okay, get the same effect. Um, as I'm zooming in, it's just a big bright light. Um, my light bulb ain't the same, but okay, we're going to zoom back out. Zoom back out. Okay, you see how the, it's getting smaller. I would expect the uh, quite opposite. Now, my, my light bulb ain't as bright as the sun, so it might not give us the same effect. But you can see how it, it's lighting up more around it, okay? And this is, uh, you know, you got to think on a little bigger term. A little light bulb hanging in a little bucket of water is not going to make the same effect, but it should be pretty close. Um, you know, as you see as I zoom in here, now if I could drag that light bulb back further and further and further with that water underneath it, is it going to give me the same effect that I see as the sunset? So this is my experiment. Uh, see how it's... See how the two items are trying to meet right here? Okay. The reflection's trying to blend in with the bulb itself. Um, you can look at uh, lakes and whatnot and see the difference on lakes. Um, you know, when you're looking at Christmas lights across the lake, you see the reflection of it. If you can get both those lights to mix, um, then it almost becomes one. But as we go farther away, see how they're blending in? They're blending in, and they're blending in. But as I zoom in, Watch them separate, they're going to separate, and separate, and then it becomes two different lights. But you can imagine that the, the sun itself is going to become this. Okay? And I get the same effect with the darkness around this light as I zoom in as I do the sun. So, you know, I always wondered why the sun was getting darker all the way around it. But you can see as I zoom back out, how it lightens everything back up. You can see all the light. Uh, so, the light hiding darkness, uh, lighting darkness, or does the darkness just surround the light? And we are just seeing the big light bands that are coming off of this. Uh, I, I'm not sure exactly how big this the the sun is, but uh, they tell us it's freaking huge, but I, I'm not sure. I'm going to tilt my camera downward, oh, downward, you see those light bands, and look at that, almost the same effect as that uh, light is meeting the reflection in the water. Look at that, amazing. That is amazing. So I am going to post this one too to kind of show you how this is happening. And you give me your comments. I'm talking in this one. Um, I thought it was a very good experiment. I have one more to do. I'm going to add it to this. So I'm going to pause. Okay, I got a flashlight. I got it over my camera. You see how I go farther back. Okay, we get uh, this light effect. And as I go in to the wall, I'm hoping I can show this. I gotta make sure I keep it on the same spot. 
as I come in, I hope I don't have my camera in front of the way, but you see how the, okay, and we even get a, a little bit of a hexagon shape, if I have my camera straight, or my uh, thing straight, you see the hexagon, wow, look at that, and as I pull out, you can see that we get this. I wish I could, uh, well here, maybe I can do it this way. I got my light, okay, and keep it in the center. I'm going to bring it in, try to keep it down, keep it straight, and here we go. See it? It's just with a flashlight on a wall. See the light band? As I bring it back, you get other light bands, more light bands, more light bands, more light bands. Simple test we can do ourselves. I, I don't know really exactly how to explain, you know, what's going on here. Um, I'm a layman. I'm a dumbass. I'm a moron with a camera trying to prove something. But, you know, everybody believes uh, the science and everything, but uh, I'm starting to question everything. So question it. Do some own test yourself. Um, and look at my light flares. Ooh, the light bands. I call them light bands. Light bands, bands of light. Okay, I'm going to go further back and show you that these bands are different. Okay, so I bring it in, start getting a different effect. Again, I like to show this and then look at the hexagon. Wow. I know my hand's in front of the way a little bit, but that's a hexagon. All right. Make your comments. Oh, wait a minute here. All right.